Okay, so for this equation it's useful to remember the formula y equals mx plus c, with m being the gradient and c being the y-intercept. We're told that we have a, a line that's perpendicular to uh, this line here, and it passes through the point when x is 3, y is 40. Okay, so perpendicular, um, we can actually work out what the gradient of our line is through that information. We work out, first of all, what the uh, gradient of that line uh, there is, that I've, I've put a box around, and that's going to be minus 1 over 12, okay, which is the number before the x. Okay, um, one, Minus 1 over 12 times x is the same as minus x over 12. Now, um, the, to get the gradient of our line, so we'll call this m1, to get the gradient of our line, which we can call m2, um, what you need to do is do two things. You need to flip, okay, so it becomes minus 12, and we need to times by minus 1. So if it's positive, it will turn negative. If it's negative, it will turn positive. So it's negative, so it will turn positive. Now the reason that works is because when you times the t any two perpendicular gradients together, you get minus 1. Okay, you don't need to know that, but that's why you do that. Okay, so our gradient of our line is 12, but we still need to work out what the y-intercept is. We're going to do that by writing out y equals mx plus c, and just filling in the bits that we know. Well, we know um, when x is 3, y is 40, so let's feed those in, so y equals 40, and we know the gradient is 12, so 12 times 3 plus c. Okay, so we're going to take away the 36 from both sides. And I'm just going to swap them uh, around. So we've got C equals uh, 40 take away 36, which is 4. So our final equation is Y equals 12, which is the gradient X plus 4.